It's election day in Great Britain. A virtual dead heat between the Conservative Party of British Prime Minister David Cameron and the Labour Party candidate Ed Miliband. Both candidates were up early Thursday, heading to the polls with their wives. About 50 million people are registered to vote in Great Britain. Early indications are turnout will be high. It's going to be important for Britain for the next five years. Uh, we're coming out of economic austerity, but we've got to get the right government for the next five years. The election appears to be so close that many are saying neither party appears to be able to win a majority of Parliament's 650 seats. Because it's so tight, I think that if I didn't come out and vote and didn't get the event at uh, the result that I wanted, then I'd only have myself to blame. Good morning. Many voters are turning elsewhere, chiefly to the separatist Scottish National Party, which will dominate north of the border, and the anti-immigrant UK Independence Party. If no party wins outright, it might take days or weeks of negotiation to put together a workable government. And there's bound to be a lot of political horse trading. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.